period in our history, certainly in this part of Europe, almost everything that you can think of was made of wood. I'm sure that nobody really thought about it. Wood was in plentiful supply, so they built with it. Then we progressed on to other building materials. Most of the things that we built with wood didn't last. It uh, went the way of the world, really. But now, what survives has become a tourist attraction. And I'm here at one such attraction. This is St. Barbara's Church in Bielsko Biała in Silesia, Poland. Come on, let's go and have a look. So the church was built in the tail end of the 17th century. Um, not all of it was built then. The tower you can see above me, the bell part, I think that was built about 1850. And all around we have the cemetery, which you would expect. We have the Stations of the Cross in a little garden set across just there. And a couple of other little kind of chapel-like structures. There are shingles going up the sides on the second level as you can see and then they've got normal kind of wooden tiles, wooden tiles along the top of each part and right at the top of the building up there at the top of the tower uh, there's a lightning conductor because of course if uh, the building were to be struck by lightning I suppose that would be the end of it. Now, I've been to two of these sort of churches in recent times. Uh, there's another one that's almost a carbon copy of this one um, over in Wodegowice which is a nearby village. I have friends who live there, we visited them and we went to see the church and to be honest the setting there is a little bit more impressive. I'm going to take a walk there uh, when the weather is a bit better. Uh, but the church there is also wooden like this one, looks very much the same actually, but it's set up on a rise over part of the village so that it's a very impressive um, vantage point. Jindabri. Unfortunately because of lockdown restrictions it's unlikely that we'll get inside, but we can go and have a look around the outside a little bit more. Unfortunately, as I kind of expected, the door's locked. This is lockdown after all, but also um, I don't think that they tend to leave the church open. There are, I, I snuck a look a few months ago. Uh, there are some very nice painted murals on the walls and ceiling of the church. So if you're ever in Bielsko and you're lucky, you might be able to come and have a look for yourself. Um, it is a beautiful place and it features in a lot of the tourist um, memorabilia of the, of the city and then the promotional video that the local tourist board has produced. So it is one of those spots like St Nicholas's Church, or Cathedral rather, in the centre of town that's well worth a, a look. Um, it's not in the best location I suppose. Uh, it's a little bit outside of the city. Uh, one option if you're visiting is to take the number two bus to towards Mikushovica and you can get off, um, well, the sign will 
be fairly clear you're only a few stops from the end so even if you overshoot you only have to walk back maybe a kilometer it's quite a nice walk itself actually um, I only found this place myself by accident I knew about it but I didn't actually pay a visit until about last summer I think it was so I've been living here for about 10 or 11 years before I even came here for the first time uh, and that was simply because I you know I was vaguely aware of it but I didn't know exactly where it was how to find it I didn't know the name of the place um, one of the problems I have when I'm walking around the city is that as you can see just here there's a, a bypass a motorway and it has one of those kind of walls on the sides um, there are very few points at which you can cross to the other side so I was walking this way thinking I can just hop across to the other side and go back to town missed where I was supposed to go and ended up coming this way quite by accident um, it's a nice walk to get here uh, a nice walk further into the countryside going that way uh, there's an old abandoned hospital I think it is just up in the the foothills of the mountains along there and some of my friends at uh, the school where I work like to go exploring so if you're into urban exploration that seems to be a pretty hot place to go but otherwise that's about it really I can't show you much more uh, but it's a lovely place isn't it very pretty nice wooden church from the 17th century and with you here today it's me Christopher Walker with Closely Observed World thank you very much for watching <laughs>